I'm Dominic Stevens. Welcome to our monthly Agri update. The start of this year was actually quite an adverse period for many rural New Zealand exporters. What we had was a situation where global commodity prices were falling, but the New Zealand exchange rate was rising. That situation has calmed over the past month. Global commodity prices have been broadly stable at a low level, while the Kiwi US exchange rate has also been stable in the high 60s. That leaves us comfortable with the outlook for most rural New Zealand export products. For the dairy industry, we're looking at a farm gate milk price of $4 for the current season, and we're comfortable forecasting $4.60 for next season. For lamb and beef, we think that global prices will mostly track sideways from here. And for forestry products, although prices have been rising recently, we think the outlook is for falling prices over the coming six months. The fact remains that the world is in a low commodity price environment and New Zealand is caught up in that. New Zealand rural exporters are not about to experience a windfall gain from high global prices for their product. Instead, success will be defined by product differentiation and or improved production techniques. Now the dairy downturn is certainly hurting rural New Zealand in some ways. For example, what we're seeing is that land prices for dairy farms are certainly falling. They're down about 9% over the past year. More generally, land sales are, are stagnant, farm prices are fairly stagnant, and we think they could fall over the coming year. That said, regional economies around New Zealand are not feeling the pinch in the way you might have expected. What's actually happened is that low interest rates have sparked a surge in house prices and a borrow and spend dynamic has developed among households. That is masking the pain of the dairy downturn, but the trouble is it's not really a sustainable source of economic growth. What you might find over the coming year is that rural economies do okay, but economists start to talk more and more about the risks that high and rising debt levels entail. Talk to you next month.